What's up my fungal familia? It is I, your boy Flack, aka the Flack Attack, coming at you with another Legend of Mushroom video. Today, we're gonna talk about the perk, the best perk probably in the game, once you hit level 100. So I know a lot of you have been wondering about why do I have to sell this piece of gear? It is a great piece of gear, maybe just not for the class that I'm currently playing. If you have not already discovered this, you can go into your gear plan and you can see here that I have unlocked the second gear slot at level 100. At level 115, you are able to unlock the third set, making it so that you can have three different sets of gear. Now, why is that important? Let me show you here real quick. I have my setup here. I am a archer, of course, right now, arrow god class. So I am focused mainly on stats for arrow guard you want crit you want combo combo multiplier as you can see here my combo is at 71 percent almost 72 percent my combo multiplier is at 2300 hits pretty hard so why is this game breaking my you ask well if you are like me and you like to play maybe different classes this will come in extremely handy for you as you can see here if you go into the gear plan and come up with my second gear set this is the gear set that i have built for the warrior class now why warrior you may ask well that's a good question i started pulling more gear and i was getting all of this gear that has counter strike regen counter strike counter strike as you can see here from the stats below my counter strike is at 44 percent and that's not even specced into the warrior class so how do you do this we'll go ahead and pull one piece of gear real quick and it'll pop up with a glasses goggles headset if you will instead of equipping or selling you click off of the screen go over to your gear set go into gear plan number two quick click switch plans now this will make it so that this gear set is equipped say you get something that's better for another gear maybe you like playing archer mage maybe you like playing mage warrior warrior archer whatever the case may be until you hit level 115 and you can utilize all of them go back out click on your gear again and it'll bring up the piece that you have for that set now you don't have to worry about having your set that you're trying to level up or gear correctly equipped you can just go switch it out equip it there you go now obviously i'm not going to exchange this mythic with my supreme now as you can see here my warrior set is completely supremed out I'm actually thinking about changing back to a warrior because of the gear selection and my pals that I have unlocked. But for now, I'm going to go to Archer, switch plans. I will be geared out in that. Maybe you like to have different kinds of stats for your different kinds of classes. You can use that as well. You can go over here to your adventure outfit, click on progress, go to PVP, switch out this set for your Archer for your set two. And there you go it'll be set for your pvp me personally i will like to have each set be for each class so once i un once i get to level 115 here in about seven levels six levels i'm about to level up i will have a archer setup a warrior setup and a mage setup i'm really excited to unlock the stun lock abilities for the mage i think that the stunlock mage will have the best ability to progress in pvp and be top tier as far as the ladder in pvp so i'm excited to try that out and i can't wait until i get to level 115 to be able to unlock that now i haven't unlocked very many stun pieces initially i just went in here and i was like okay whatever good pieces i get i'm going with that it just happened to be the warrior class so stay tuned i'm gonna do i'm gonna as soon as i get these i'm gonna do in-depth guides for 
each class and each set as soon as I unlock them. Thanks for tuning in for this short little gear tutorial. As always, keep on growing.